In their hundreds, they rallied and warned the president that they had come to protect democracy. It came after Trump campaign officials said they would file legal action to stop the counting of votes here in Pennsylvania. They cited a lack of transparency, and yet anyone in the world has been able to log on and watch live streaming footage like this of election workers tallying the votes. But there are still so, so many to count. Who knows how the contents of this room might affect the course of history. Donald Trump is making multiple challenges, but crucially, he thinks it's unfair that postal votes are allowed to arrive three days after election day. Because of the Trump campaign very actively speaking to the fact that he is sending his entire legal team to Pennsylvania to try to challenge any validly cast votes, I'm very concerned about what will happen if this election comes down to Pennsylvania. And as political experts all know, this state is often critical. Pennsylvania is, um, you know, it's, it's called the Keystone State, and it is key to any candidate's electoral ambitions. It was the single state that was the most likely to give a candidate the presidency. Partly it's because it's a large state. We have 20 electoral college votes of the 400 and the 538 that you need and there are, that exist in total. Um, but partly also, this is a state whose demographics in some key respects look a lot like America's overall. In this voting system, some votes matter more than others. So many here were expecting to have the eyes of the world upon them. I'm not surprised. I knew it was going to happen, that we were going to be the most important state. As a Biden supporter, hoping that, uh, you know, the, the ballots from the from people who mailed in from the city start to come in and, and that lead starts to uh, grow a little bit. Here and in other parts of the United States, there are fears of unrest, a result being contested before it's even known. Julian Drucker, 5 News, Philadelphia.